NWO Report World News. A new intercontinental weapon that can fly 27 times the speed of sound became operational Friday. Russia's defense minister reported to President Vladimir Putin bolstering the country's nuclear strike capability. Putin has described the advanced hypersonic glide vehicle as a technological breakthrough comparable to the 1957 Soviet launch of the first satellite. The new Russian weapon in a similar system being developed by China have troubled the United States which has pondered defense strategies. The Avangard launch atop an intercontinental ballistic missile, but unlike a regular missile warhead that follows a predictable path after separation, it can make sharp maneuvers in the atmosphere and route to the target, making it much harder to intercept. Defense Minister of Russia informed Putin that the first missile unit equipped with the Avangard hypersonic glide vehicle entered combat duty. He went on to say that I congratulate you on this landmark event for the military and the entire nation. He went on to say later during a conference call with top military leaders in that country. As mentioned earlier in this video, the military said that the Avangard is capable of flying 27 times faster than the speed of sound and it carries a nuclear weapon of up to two megatons. Putin has said Russia had to develop the Avangard and other prospective weapon systems because of the United States efforts to, ve to develop a missile defense system that he claimed could erode Russia's nuclear deterrent. Moscow has scoffed at U.S. claims that its missile shield isn't intended to counter Russia's massive missile arsenal. Earlier this week, Putin emphasized that Russia is the only country armed with hypersonic weapons. He noted that for the first time, Russia is leading the world in development an entire new class of weapons, unlike in the past when it was catching up with the United States. What do you think? Did Russia actually develop this weapon and is it operational? Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.